In the past five years, about 1,700 flats were surrendered to the HDB. Of these flats, about half were two-room flats, one-sixth <clears throat> were three-room flats, and one-third were four-room or larger flats. About 1,000 of the surrendered flats were short lease flats, comprising studio apartments, two-room flexi flats bought on a short lease, and flats whose owners had opted for the lease buyback scheme. Owners of short lease flats who no longer wished to retain their flats or who had become ineligible to do so are required to surrender their flats to the HDB. They are not allowed to sell them on the open market. The remaining 700 flats were surrendered to HDB mostly due to changes in the owner's circumstances within their minimum occupation period, which rendered them ineligible to own an HDB flat. As these owners had not fulfilled their minimum occupation period, they were not allowed to sell their flats on the open market. The most common reasons for surrender of flats were divorce, breakup of fiancé fiancé relationship, and annulment of marriage. HDB compensates flat owners for the surrendered flats and offers them for sale through the sale of balanced flats exercises. If the flats remain unselected after the sale of balanced flats exercise, they may then be made available under open booking. I, I refer to flats that um, have either uh, surrendered because they have not met the MOP or flats that were uh, cancelled because parties were not able to uh, proceed with the flat due to either the uh, marriage breaking down or, or the, the parties um, not being able to go ahead with the marriage. So in, in either instances, they would suffer uh, so if you cancel the sale and purchase agreement, you, there's a penalty of 5%. Uh, if you have taken over the flat and then you have to surrender the flat uh, due to divorce or whatever reason, the HDB only compensates you 95% of the purchase price. So uh, again, the, the, the question really is, um, if the flat can be sold back at either the same price in the open market or a better price, uh, why should the loss be taken by the applicant who had the misfortune of uh, not meeting an MOP or having to surrender the flat. Mr Speaker, uh, as the member is aware, the reason why we have subsidised housing is to help uh, our Singaporeans have a roof over their heads. The, the subsidies for housing is something that is very important uh, and which we would allocate to Singaporeans based on eligibility conditions. Now, for the minimum occupation period, it is there to also deter speculative purchase so that we can be fair to all Singaporeans who aspire to be HDB homeowners. Therefore, the reasons for the conditions that govern the surrender of flats is not so much determined by whether or not uh, there is resale value to be had from those flats, but really to ensure that when flat owners enter into the commitment to purchase an HDB flat, they understand uh, the eligibility conditions and that they will uh, abide by it. And uh, we do this in order to be fair to everyone. Thank you.